Hello and welcome to the basics in biology. Today we are going to discuss about mitochondrial membrane dynamics. The reason that uh, this topic uh, became interest to me is that I'm fascinated with this organelle by thinking about how we came into being. In other words, how we evolved as eukaryotes as such a complex organisms. How do mitochondria came into existence? Well, the thought is evolutionary biologists think that an archaic type prokaryote engulfed a bacterium and they form a symbiotic relationship that evolved during evolution to give rise to modern day eukaryotic cell. Why do we think that? Well, mitochondria have a lot of features that are in common with bacterium and they are wary. The genetic signature is there to indicate that. Mitochondria is converting the food we eat and the air we breathe into usable energy. Mitochondria can be found as isolated organelle or joiner to form large networks. They can, uh, they can also be distributed unevenly in the cytosol to meet local energy demands of the cell. This uh, changeable and adaptable nature of mitochondria involving their morphology and subcellular distribution is collectively known as mitochondrial dynamics. Mitochondrial dynamics influence and often orchestrate not only metabolism, but also complex cell signaling events, such as those involved in regulating cell pluripotency, cell division, differentiation, senescence, and cell death. Mitochondrial membrane dynamics are extensively regulated by post-translational modification of its machinery and by the formation of membrane contact sites between mitochondria and other organelles, both of which have the capacity to integrate inputs from various pathways. The twofold role of uh, mitochondria as cellular powerhouse and a signaling organelle is paralleled by the fact that they are surrounded by two membranes, an inner mitochondrial membrane and an outer mitochondrial membrane characterized by different composition and function. The inner mitochondrial membrane demarcates the mitochondrial matrix and can be further divided into two subcompartments: inner boundary membrane running parallel to the outer mitochondrial membrane and the cristae that are deeply convoluted pleomorphic invagination that provide the expansion of the surface area and harbor the machinery required for mitochondrial respiration. Cristae are connected to inner boundary membrane via cristae junctions. The two main functional consequences of extreme compartmentalization of the inner mitochondrial membrane, the first impacts on the bioenergetics, cristae organization ensures the optimal condition for ATP production, minimizing the diffusion of metabolites, protons and ADP during respiration and the second functional consequence impacts on apoptosis. The outer mitochondrial membrane hosts proteins that are fundamental for the organelle physiology. The outer mitochondrial membrane is crucial for mitochondrial dynamics because it hosts all the molecules involved in mitochondrial fusion and fission. The list of signaling cascades that use the outer mitochondrial membrane as a platform grew to the point that mitochondria are now considered as signaling organelles. In several circumstances, these signaling cascades are controlled by or influence mitochondrial dynamics. And now I will illustrate here only three examples of bidirectional mitochondrial dynamics signaling cascade crosstalk. First is apoptosis that requires outer mitochondrial membrane leads to the mitochondrial morphological change and is controlled by mitochondrial dynamics. The role of mitochondria in apoptosis was identified when anti-apoptotic protein BCL2 was found associated with the outer mitochondrial membrane. BCL2 controls outer mitochondrial membrane permeabilization that is accompanied by mitochondrial fragmentation and cytochrome C release. As another example, several akinase anchoring proteins 
which recruits cyclic AMP dependent serine threonine specific protein kinase A are associated with the outer mitochondrial membrane, thus regulating cyclic AMP signaling in time and space. Finally, outer mitochondrial membrane localization of mitochondrial antiviral signaling proteins is essential to mount a response to viral infection. Overall, the outer mitochondrial membrane can be truly regarded as the platform of of mitochondrial integration within cellular signaling. Mitochondrial cristae are dynamic structures that adapt their architecture in response to physiological inputs and in pathology. The organization of inner mitochondrial membrane into cristae, also known as cristae biogenesis, it is a complex process with multiple players. First, it can be intrinsically caused by spontaneous forces generated by lipid and protein-driven membrane curvature. In addition, the outer mitochondrial membrane likely serves as a border to limit the extension of the cristae structure. A key multiprotein complex regulating cristae biogenesis is the mitochondrial contact sites and cristae organizing system. ATP synthase dimer have been proposed a crucial as crucial drivers of uh, cristae morphology because their formation can bend lipid bilayer. Another key regulator of uh, cristae architecture is OPA1, which is important for cristae junction formation and maintenance. Super resolution imaging offers a formal proof to this concept. Uh, identifying individual cristae with different magnitude of uh, transmembrane potentials. Disruption in these processes affect normal development and they have been implicated in neurodegenerative diseases such as optic atrophy, Parkinson's disease. I will discuss the mitochondrial fusion and fission in next video. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe this channel. Thank you.